Hello to the land of Ketonia. How is everybody doing today? Today we're gonna record a video for you guys mm -hmm. and we hope you will have a chance to watch it. That's why we will publish it on uh, YouTube. Definitely. We want to talk about winter time, autumn time. Well, as you can see, Apollonas is actually dressed summerish. Me, uh -huh. I'm quite cold today, even though it's a sunny day. Uh, yeah, it's really hot at the moment, so... How to prevent cold, how to prevent flu, or if it even happens during the winter, you are a Ketonian, so there's a very little chance you will be extremely sick if you are fat adapted and if you are on keto for at least a year. Clean keto, of course, mm -hmm. keto As always, yeah. But when it's sunny like this, even if it's winter time, wherever you live, the first thing you have to do is go out and spend wonderful time just walking, just stay under the beautiful sun rays. Wherever you live, probably there will be at least one sunny day in the month. And especially now in October, there are many uh, mm -hmm. sunny days. So at least here in the Mediterranean zone. So I think that would be number one advice when it comes to staying uh, away from uh, the old well, habits yeah, of staying too much inside. We know inside. Uh, during the winter we, uh, we lack of vitamin D, especially because we don't have a lot of sun and of course because we are not well hydrated. Uh, so the, uh, we want to prevent this by uh, consuming, of course, uh, uh, really nutrient-dense foods and of course uh, supplement with natural remedies. So natural supplements, when we say supplements, you need to understand that food can be your medicine and food can be your mm -hmm. supplement, natural. When we talk about natural uh, supplements, mm -hmm. nothing can help you if you really catch cold or if you really uh, are feeling there's a flu season around you, like a nice warm uh, cup of rose hip tea. This is something that we keep uh, promoting mm -hmm. and keep talking about. Okay, so uh, I added a little bit Earl Grey to make it uh, even taste uh, exotic, exotic, I would yeah. say, but uh, originally I made this tea with this wonderful rose hip mm -hmm. uh, fruits which I sourced in the forest as you can see I found even and this is how they look actually fresh before they are dried mm -hmm. yes we picked them in the forest because uh, we like to take a walk in the forest we live in the area where okay bravo you can see here so I'm drying yeah. them I'm drying them after that I'm keeping them in a glass jar and all you need to do is boil them for uh, let's say five minutes so you need to have all the great vitamins infused into your water so you will uh, boil it for five minutes let it cool down a little bit and then enjoy it you don't actually need any sweetener but you can add natural stevia if you leaves that would be totally natural uh, but also you can combine it with some other teas for example you like to combine mm -hmm. it with sage sage yeah usually sage, sage. I love sage, it has a lot of uh, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial properties and... Uh, it's a natural uh, antibacterial mm -hmm. uh, remedy. Especially actually. if you have a gastrointestinal problems, uh, combination of uh, sage and thyme I think is the best uh, because uh, actually they provide relief. Uh, uh, if you have gastroenteritis or uh, generally some uh, problems with your guts and stomach. And I think uh, this is uh, a natural, again, remedy for uh, without to have to consume uh, drugs and medicine generally. Uh, sage also is a great remedy if you have sore throat. You can just uh, make a well-infused sage tea and wash your mouth and wash your throat every two to three hours and the pain will reduce drastically. Mm -hmm. You really have to give it a try before you go to the pharmaceutical products. So another thing which I want to show today is the pomegranate. Guys, we in the Mediterranean zone, we do yeah, have we a them, lot actually. of these. Uh, they are keto friendly if they are sour. So you can have the whole of pomegranate seeds if it's a wild sour pomegranate. But if it's, it's a not even. sweet variety, so. then it's not quite keto friendly. But mm -hmm. if you are low carb or if you want to prepare it for children, 
don't prepare it don't do anything with it just eat it raw it's extremely delicious it has a lot of minerals and vitamins and it's now it's the season yeah, yeah, yeah. winter is the season when you are actually packed with enjoying. a lot of uh, nutrients phytonutrients that are important and as i said uh, you need to aim for something that is not even shiny uh, so These it's are close to organic from the mountain which mm -hmm. is just here in front of us we went for a walk and when uh, we actually gathered our uh, beloved rose, rose hip, hip yeah we also found it. wild pomegranates it's also really interesting about Greek mosquito we love to explore natural remedies from the ancient times so Tell us what Alexander the Great brought to Greeks from India. Okay, as you uh, you know, Alexander the Great uh, went uh, to a huge campaign to India, uh, actually to the east, uh, without you know what he has to uh, to meet there, and uh, because they had to uh, a lot of times to have battles, uh, of course horses soldiers and soldiers were... got injured, injured. but uh, and got sick. Many mm -hmm. times because they were changing climate, environment uh, they were generally, also changing yeah. uh, altitude. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they were in the mountains, sometimes they were in uh, uh, almost in the seaside. Mm -hmm. So it's a lower altitude. It's different climate. So uh, it was really important to to see how these animals were behaving when they were injured, and they realized that, uh, especially horses, uh, were starting consuming a, a plant, uh, not only the seeds but even the leaves. And uh, maybe in a couple berries. of the, the berries, yeah, maybe in a couple of days, one two days, uh, they were starting shining and coming back to the shape, full strength, mm -hmm. and they were feeling uh, really strong and they recovered. And they say, why we are not consuming uh, this plant too? Because it's not obviously poisonous. And of course, this uh, plant is not uh, nothing else uh, but sea buckthorn. Sea buckthorn or hippophyes. We have been talking mm -hmm. about this on numerous occasions. You can see it here as a 100% concentrated juice. I don't know if you can see the uh, actual fruit, how it looks. It doesn't grow everywhere in the world, but thanks to today's uh, mm -hmm. technology, uh, they're drying it and then they're selling it in a dry form. You can take this 100% extract juice you can also take sea buckthorn oil sea buckthorn oil you can take orally and you can apply it to your skin if you go to greek mosquito and if you search for sea buckthorn you will find three great articles about it one of them is covering how to use it in a form of oil on your skin and the other two are covering the juice and the berries so uh, make sure you visit greek mosquito nothing contains more vitamin c than uh, Sea buckthorn. buckthorn. So, uh, if you really want to supplement yourself during the winter with vitamin C, then definitely rose hip and sea buckthorn. Mm -hmm. Combine them, have them every day after your or during your keto meal. Don't have them during the fasting period because they will break the fast. Of course, uh, rose hip uh, mm -hmm. is not uh, good to consume during the fasting period because it's a fruit, it's a fruit tea, so you can have it after you uh, had your first meal. During the fasting period, ideally, you will have just herbal tea. Uh, Polonas loves sage, thyme, peppermint, uh, chamomile and those all these mediterranean i think mediterranean uh, herbs, herbs exactly. yeah they're amazing so you can even have lavender mm -hmm. it's really calming and enjoy herbal teas in the period of uh, fast and then once you break your fast with a great keto mediterranean meal have yourself a nice cup of rose hip tea enjoy it and because it course, tastes mm -hmm, awesome because it's win coming winter uh, especially here in the northern hemisphere i would suggest to have always bone broth to break your fast mm. it's something amazing and that prepares all your digestive system to receive food it's also very important to stay positive, to do things which make you feel good. Have a pet or a hobby. Anything that makes you feel good will help you survive the winter blues.